Hey guys, Wes here with a late but very necessary review for the final installment of the Metal Gear series on the PS3, Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots. I gotta be honest with you guys, this game is truly amazing, and if you own a PS3, you should either have already played it, or you should definitely consider playing it. It is a technically and visually stunning game with extremely beautiful cinematics and gameplay that will impress anyone, even those who aren't Metal Gear Solid fans. Its beauty could seriously make celestial beings cry. But anyway, let's get to the review first. Uh, the story. Revealing too much about the plot of this game would compromise its epicness, but here's the basic outline of it. Due to rapid aging, Snake is now old and must deal with health issues, and also must stop his twin brother, Liquid, who is now Liquid Ocelot, and plans on causing a global insurrection against the government organization known as the Patriots. As you can already tell, I'm sure the story of this game following the whole series is very complex, to say the least. And if you haven't played any of the previous games, you are probably going to feel lost at points. Especially when characters from the older games make reappearances. The story of this game and the series altogether is truly one of the greatest and most memorable stories ever, and it will leave you wanting to continue playing for hours. And I mean this in a good way though. You'll, you'll still be satisfied with the length of this game. It is truly a masterpiece of storytelling. An aspect which ties in very closely with the story is the presentation, specifically the cinematics. The Metal Gear Solid series is known for its long and very cool cinematics, and if you're expecting this game to be different, you'd be wrong. But if you dismiss the cinematics of this game, you'd be missing the point. The story is tied together with cinematics and gameplay, and without one, you'd be missing a piece of the puzzle. You're supposed to feel like the hero of your own action movie, and you truly feel that way when you're playing, watching, or even laughing at Snake. What is truly amazing about the cinematics of this game is that they flow so smoothly into gameplay that you almost don't notice the transition because it feels that natural. And I'm not exaggerating. At times you just want to like stop and go, holy crap, this is freaking awesome. There are plenty of moments like that in the game, such as a motorcycle chase scene in which you can go back and forth between cinematic and gameplay mode. It's simply beautiful. The gameplay itself is very straightforward and satisfying. If you played any of the previous Metal Gear games, you should feel right at home, noticing some improvements in the shooting mechanics. While the levels in this game are more or less linear, you are not limited simply to going about them in one way. If you wanted to, you could go throughout the whole game without killing anyone, going stealthy all the way, assuming that you aren't forced to kill your opponents, of course. You have many different tactics available, such as going prone and crawling, using uh, clo close quarter combat, hiding by walls, and hiding in your trusty boxer barrel. Or you can use your wide array of tools, such as your tranquilizer gun, stun knife, or, or your uh, new tools like the Octo Camo there? Suit, which blends you into on? your surroundings, allowing you to easily go unnoticed. Part of the beauty of this game is its graphics and sound. It is undeniable how beautiful this game is to look at. And while there are some times where you might get some frame rate issues, these moments are easily overlooked as you're going through the game. It is visually stunning with countless little details that amaze you like water drops running down the screen, smoke, that's smoke from snake cigarettes, detail in the concrete walls and lighting and shadowing. It's just awesome. The cinematics are especially amazing, which as I mentioned before, flow extremely smoothly into gameplay. You will definitely be satisfied with the way this game looks. The music as well in this game fits the mood perfectly. While some may argue that it isn't good as previous games, it definitely fits the mood and is just another factor that will draw you into it even more. Also, Metal Gear Solid 4 has some cool easter eggs like an Altair costume uh, where you can look like Altair or you can look like other characters from the game which makes the game even that much cooler. I give this game a 10 for its amazing and memorable story, a 10 in presentation for its outstanding cinematics, a 10 in both sound and graphics for their beauty, and a 10 for lasting appeal. Overall, I give Metal Gear Solid 4 a solid 10. Pun definitely intended. And don't tell Miles uh, about that pun. Uh, it is a masterpiece in every aspect. If you have a PS3, or even if you don't, I definitely recommend playing this game if you haven't already. Boy, that was a really swell review. Too bad Wes isn't here for me to congratulate him. Okay, give it up, Wes. We all know you're in the box. We just saw the review, man. I mean, come on. It's not even good disguise in the game. We'll be right back after this commercial break.